Hey, what is up, heroes, and welcome back to Small Pokemon Yellow. In today's episode, we are going to be going to Bill's house and then taking on Misty as well as catching Mew. So, there's a few things to do this episode. First things first, though, is we're taking on our arrival at Nugget Bridge. He should appear any second. There we go. Yo, Volty. You still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. Got a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you caught. Alright. I caught some uh, pretty good stuff. Still gonna train Pikachu a little bit, he's a bit weak. You're leading for Spiro, that's awesome. I thought I was leading for uh, Pikachu. That's hard to quickly switch now. Level 18, oh my goodness. That's a lot higher level than I thought. So originally I was gonna take on Misty first, but I realized we need to actually not take her on so we can fight the trainer in the, uh, the first trainer in there for Mew. So what we need to do actually is once we get to Bill, we need to actually um, go ahead and, oh, critical hit, that sucks. Capture an Abra. It's going to be super fun. I might be able to capture one next to the kid we got a teleport from. Not too sure there. Uh, let's just go into checkmate for the uh, Sandshrew. Go for a couple double kicks. Didn't do as much as I was hoping it would do, but still fine. That Sanctuary won't do any ground type attack, so we should be good. I see how much a uh, horn attack will do. Oh, we missed. There we go. Eh, a bit better. Go on, land this double kick. Come on. Oh, we missed. Ooh. Oh, we're not going to finish it off, are we? No, we live for like 1 HP. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate, but at least Pikachu can get the XP now, I guess. Go for a nice quick attack. Ah, oh, that sucks so much. But at least he, now he's level 13. We're out of tear. Okay, that's good. For a nice thunder shock. But it failed, nice. Love it when the tail whips fail. Hyper Fang, we should live this. Or not. Alright, come on, flow. Nice gust to finish off. Oh god. Damn, our rival is pretty tough. He's still got Eevee left. Yeah, we can stay in. Looks like my Pidgey's crying from his sprite. He's got like a giant white line. There's like a tear by his eye. But my Pidgey's got this. Come on, we can beat the Eevee. Don't want to switch into Butterfree right now. Oh, Pidgey get all the XP. Oh, like 1 HP. One more Gust. There we go. So, to get Mew, all we have to do, really, is get an Abra. And then, the trainer past uh, Nugget Bridge, we have to go to. The moment he interacts with us, we only, like, press start and then, uh, teleport away. Hey, guess what? Went to Bills and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That had a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill is world famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on PC. Since you're using the system, go thank him. Well, better get rolling. Smell you later. Anyway, as I was saying, teleport from that kid, go into the gym, take on the first trainer in there, walk across Nugget Bridge, and then the game should just pause by itself. The moment we back out, we'll get to fight Mew, which will be uh, really fun. We'll be level 7 though, so... Gotta make sure I don't train up too much, otherwise uh, getting him is going to be a pain in the butt. Oh, as well, we can get a Charmander in a second as well. That's going to be fun to use. Alright, let's go speak to Officer Jenny. I think we have to speak to Bill first, and we can go this way, right? 
These poor people were here were robbed. Positive that Team Rocket is behind this. Terrible deed. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. Or maybe we just have to do a um, nugget bridge and we can go across. Then you get to like where the daycare center is. Or daycare man just to um be able to get Abra. This is a nugget bridge. Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? I think I do. I should hope so. I got a nice canopy. Ideally I want to learn sleep powder, which we should learn maybe one or two levels. I'm hoping. Oh no, sorry, we already got sleep powder, haven't we? Totally forgot. <laughs> I was thinking I still wouldn't um have it from last episode, but after I did some training and uh yeah, I got sleep powder. Totally forgot about that. So we're good. We are good. Ooh, critical hit, nice. So when we find the Abra, I, we should outspeed an Abra to be honest. Because the Abra is going to teleport away. I think we can sleep powder and then try and capture it. I think that should work. I'm second. Now it's serious. It's serious, is it? Okay. Alright, lass. What have you got? You got a Pidgey. Gonna get Dave to level uh, 17. And then we'll start using someone else. Well, we need to start using Charmander soon as well. Once we get him. Ouch. I would love to know how like, these people found these glitches out. Like, How would someone know to talk to that kid, no way he like, interacts, teleport out, go for that one train in Cerulean, walk up to a bridge, and then you get Mew. Like, <laughs> I don't know how someone ever would figure that out, but whoever did, thank you. Thank you for allowing us to all get Mew. Do, 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 do. How can I lose? Because you suck. That's how you can lose. Here's number three. It won't be easy. Yeah, well, I'll be the judge of that. Alright, what you got? You got a Rattata. That should be nice and easy. These Rattatas in this game are pretty tough with their quick attacks. They do a lot of damage to me. And Ekans, that's good, because we can just take that like one confusion. Hopefully this will get us to uh, level 17. Close enough. Don't poison me, don't poison me. Ooh, oh, you got the poison, no! Oh, that sucks. And we're gonna have to switch out. I think I have one antidote, so I should be good. Right, that shouldn't do too much damage. Critical hit. Oh, so many critical hits in this play for it's great. Do 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 do. Ow! Stump flat. Damn right. I right, lead off with uh, Pikachu, and let's antidote up Dave. Next person. Item number four. Getting tired? Nah, not really. I can go for like another maybe four or five battles before I start getting tired. That was 16 Pidgey, damn. And we got the paralysis, nice. That gust was a lot of damage, damn. Critical hit. <laughs> oh my god, one hacks after another. Uh, if this Nidoranus is going to flow. I 
Level 16 Nidoran. Damn. Should be able to take it out though. We might get level 17 from beating this. Maybe. I forget when Pidgey evolves. It's 17, 18, or 19. Pretty sure it might be 17. So we could potentially get Pidgeotto by beating this. I hope we do. Ah, damn. I was hoping we'd grow that level. Alright, I need to quickly heal up. There we go. Last one before the, uh, last one, I guess. The uh, Team Rocket guy. Junior Trainer wants to fight and what's he got? He got a Mankey. Level 18, damn. This thing is gonna probably kill me. Critical hit! Oh, that's that's awesome. Uh, let's quickly switch into Pidgey. Take this next Karate Shot that's probably gonna come in. D double kill! Double critical hit! Are you serious? Damn, this Mankey is not messing around. I'm gonna heal up uh, my butter free just in case I need to use him against this thing. No, no, let me go Pokeball. Don't be a thief. <laughs> I'll try not to. Free number. Oh my god, it's got three karate chops, three critical hits. This uh, Mankey is scary. Probably dead now. Four, four karate chops, four critical hits. This is ridiculous. What is going on? Don't you dare crit me. Five for five! Are you... S what? Five critical hits from five... What is going on? Gotta finish off a critical, uh, quick attack right now. Thank you. Oh my god. That Mankey is just a cheat. How do you get five critical hits from five karate chops? My goodness, was like... The critical hit chance ratio in this game just like super high or something because I've been getting a lot of critical hits, but that Mankey took the biscuit, he really did. Six attacks, five critical hits. That is. That's dumb. That's so dumb. Okay. Now we're nice and fully healed. Let's go fight the last guy. If I remember correctly, it's a Team Rocket member, right? Or is that from... Golden Silver? No, no, it should be a Team Rocket member. So many trainers. Congratulations, you beat our five contest trainers. Got a nugget. So I'm pretty sure if you lose this guy, you go talk to him again, you keep getting nuggets and nuggets and nuggets. Would you like to join uh, Team Rocket? We're a group dedicated to evil using Pokemon. Wanna join? Are you sure? Come on, join us. Okay, I will. Tell you to join. I will join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Now I was gonna join, but if you wanna fight me, I ain't gonna join then. Alright, so if we lose this guy, we could potentially get, get like as many nuggets as we want, but to be honest, I don't really need many. As long as this Ekans doesn't like critical hit me like 20 times in a row, I'm good. Misses the wrap. Misses the lit well, the leer fails. And I'm just chilling here with my thunder shocks. And the paralysis kicks in. Gets the wrap. But it's fine because we're about to take this thing out. And last but not least is Zubat, which we can just, uh, we can just find a shock. It's all good. Super Sonic. Okay, we can get through this. We can get through this. Nice. Double team. Uh, I'm good. Although double team's a bit OP, but still. I feel like if I got it, used it once, I wouldn't be able to get hit ever again. 
For your ability, you can become a top leader on Team Rocket. Okay, so basically from here, we save the game, go down one, and then we'd uh, find that trainer to battle. And then we literally teleport it. Teleport away, sorry, with Abra, but we don't have Abra right now, so it kind of sucks. Not good at raising Pokemon. I should release my Charmander, because I haven't raised it well. If you promise me you'll care for it, it's yours. Hell yeah. Got a nice Charmander. And we're going to nickname it. What do I name my Charizards? Igneal from Fairy Tail. Okay, so let's look at our Charmander. Oh, that sprite looks so cool. Scratch, Growl, and Ember. Let's lead off of him, train him up a little bit. So we're going to want to visit Bill now. But I think what I could potentially do is I think you can get Abra in this grass here. So if I, uh, actually I don't want to risk it. I really don't want to risk it just in case he turns or something, I don't know. So, let's go take these trainers on. Well, can we get Abra in this grass, maybe? I should check. Okay, you can't get Abra here because Abra is route 5, 6, 7, 8. So the only way, place to get it was where I was at the start, which is going to be by the uh, little daycare man. Oh my god, that hiker looks so weird. That Matchup's arms look weird. It's like almost bigger than his body. <laughs> oh god. What is up with karate chops and critical hits in this game? My goodness. Absolutely insane. If he has a crud again, then Karate Chop must be broken. Oh my god, Karate Chop in this game is broken. Yeah, Karate Chop in this game is broken. There must be a glitch or something because there's no way. That's eight Karate Chops, eight critical hits. This game is broken. <laughs> uh, let's go into... Shame, we just double kick it. I don't want to switch out against Geodude. So we've got the Moonstone for um, Nid Arena as well. Can get a Nid King pretty early on. There we go. Get out of here, Geodude. Level 16, sweet. Do, 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 do. You worked hard. What checkmate is evolving? Hey, nice. Ha, <laughs> awesome. Don't know when the best time to evolve uh, Nidoran is, but. Or Nidorino, sorry. So you look at his move sets for uh, Pokemon Yellow. <laughs> See what uh, levels he learns some certain moves and potentially find out when to evolve him. Right, let's go into Sparky. Oh my goodness, critical hit. Paralyze it, paralyze it, paralyze it. Critical hit back. Uh, we go a quick attack. Our speed will hopefully finish you off. There we go, nice. Igneal level 11. And Spiro, to go back into Igneal, then we're going to like Pidgey. Our Pidgey can beat that Spiro. We might get Pidgeotto. Like I said, it might be 17, but it's probably 18 or 19. Could have sworn it was uh, level 17. Ouch. We can finish this off. I might have to quickly go and heal up after this. Ouch! Come on. Come on, Pidgey, you got this. Growl failed, nice. 
Critical hit. Hey. Oh, not even level 17. You're decent. Well, I'll quickly go heal up. See you in a second. Okay, we're back nice and healthy, and I just quickly looked up how did the new glitch. Just double check everything right. We do not want to fight this guy right here. He's got a slow poke, and because you can actually get two Mews as well. You can actually use him as well instead of the uh, the guy in the gym. We're going to use the gym guy because that's the way uh, I've done it before. I did it a long time ago. Very long time ago. Alright, so, got Nidoran. Level 15. Just gonna have to switch out. Let's go into Dave. Actually kind of excited to get this uh, Mew. Also, what you can actually do now is that with the uh, the Pokemon Direct that happened the other day, they said that you can transfer every Pokemon you get in red, blue, and yellow in the, on this virtual console game here through Pokemon Bank and put it onto Pokemon Sun and Moon. Now, it doesn't really matter because I've got the Mew code for the 20th anniversary, but I'm going to get this Mew here and I'm going to bring it all the way back to uh, Sun and Moon. As long as my, like, all the Pokemon I capture in this game as well, so... Yeah, that's going to be awesome. I'm going to bring over my Mewtwo, my... Starters, Legendary Birds, my Pikachu. It's gonna be good. It's actually a really cool feature they actually managed to do that, I don't know. Like, how they managed to do it, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. Someone said, like, um, I saw a comment on a video saying, try and transfer the uh, missing no through Pokemon Bank into uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon when it comes out, see what happens. And I would try it. But it might break the game. Someone said, like, maybe it would just uh, put the missing note to what the Pokemon it was supposed to be. I, I really want to try it out. I might. But I feel like missing no won't go into the Poker Bank. For it's, like, say, corrupted data or, like, a, this is an illegal Pokemon won't work. Uh, oh, don't check me. Yeah. Because isn't. Doesn't Poker, ba uh, Poker Bank not allow hacked Pokemon or something like that? So it might do that with um, the missing no, now that I think about it. Oh, two more, uh, double kicks. No, I was double checking the Mew glitch. I should have, uh, checked the move set for Nidorino as well. If I need to, I'll probably just make him a Nidor King before we take on Lieutenant Surge. Because having that part ground would be pretty good. Let's stay and keep double kicking. It'll save me going to Diglett Cave, capturing a uh, Diglett to help me out with Internet Surge. But we've got to go through that anyway to get Flash. Because I'm not going through the uh, the Dark Cave without Flash. So annoying. Okay, Machop. Okay, Critical Hits inbound. Remember that. Every single uh, stupid Machop or, or Pokemon with Karate Chop can get Insta Critical Hit for some reason in this game. Is my theory correct? Critical hit? What is wrong with critical hit and karate chop? Damn. It's like, does karate chop do a different thing in this game where it's like guaranteed a critical hit? Probably, that's probably the, the truth to be honest, probably what it is. I won't be surprised. Keep double kicking this Geodude until it goes. So once we talk to Bill, I think Officer Jenny should go and we can go down to the uh, daycare man and get our Abra. Then we can do the little Mew uh, glitch. Do, 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 do. You got me. I did. You can actually get this item behind here if you actually make him walk here, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. Don't need cut to get this item. Just make him walk forward. It's a bit guy blocking the path. Alright, let's see if uh, our charm can actually take this thing out by himself. Let's quickly switch Ember there so I can spam it, and I didn't mean to do that. Critical hit, nice. Exactly 11 damage, so I can't live another 
stupid attack. Um, let's go into Sparky. As long as it never gets the XP, it's all good. Ooh, damn. That rat tat just wrecked me. That's fine, maybe we can grow a level. My Pidgey. Now we're staying. Come on, Pidgey, we're gonna grow your level. Let's see if you evolve level 17. Poison thing missed. Nice. Do not want to get poisoned right now. Critical hit. Nice. One more gust. Now we go level 17. Are we going to evolve? Please say we do. Nope. Okay. That's like 18 or 19. Ah, damn, if I get past you. My friend has a cute Pokemon. I'm so jealous. Wonder what that is. What have you got? You've got an Oddish. No, probably take this out. No reason we can't. I like how the Ember like effect, little flame is, it <laughs> goes over my name. Okay, do not get a crit. Do not get a crit. All we're good. You, this Oddish might live. Critical hit. No chance of living today. Alright, let's go into RPG. Get that lovely gust. Half damage. Sweet. Oh, he missed. Oh, you live with like 1 HP? Damn, Pidgey. You are lucky. You are super lucky, dude. There we go. No more Pidgey. And your last Pokemon was an Oddish, but might as well just stay in. Go for a nice gust. We're gonna miss quite a bit though, because the sand attack, which is kind of annoying. Got a critical hit with that absorb. That's awesome. Oddish looks so weird, it's all green. It's like no bit of blue. Oh, if we're gonna keep missing, I might as well just switch out. Come on, give me a crit. Finish it off right now. Ah, damn. No, stop missing the gusts. Oh my goodness, Pidgey. Be a bro. Last gust. If you miss this, we're switching out. Damn right, you land the attack. Okay. Get out of here, stupid Oddish. Right, let's go see Bill. Sup? Hey, I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Poke Pokemaniac. Hey. What's that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So, how about it? Help me out? Okay. I'm in the teleporter, go to the PC, and run the cell separation system. I actually saw a really cool um, little theory. Um, so, the Japanese Pokemon X and Y logo had the Mega Evolution symbol in it, and the Pokemon Sun and Moon Japanese logo has a little kind of crystal in it, and someone point out it looks like the crystal from the Pokemon manga where humans fuse with the Pokemon. So that could potentially be a thing in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Just keep that in mind. Got the SS ticket, nice. Alright, thank you very much. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dues. Why don't you go instead of me? Thank you. I will. I like a good plan. So we should now be able to go down to a uh, What's her face? 
pass off as a genie. If not, then we have to take on Misty and then fight the Slowpoke guy instead. Pretty sure you can't fight the guy after you beat Misty as well, so... Yeah, she's moved now, okay. That's good. Oh, ain't that sad. Let's quickly heal up. Got some Pokeballs. We'll lead off with uh, Butterfree. Try and find the Abra. Not sure what the percentage is to find an Abra, but we might be here for a while. But I'll just cut to when I find one. Let's go, Pikachu. How you doing, Pikachu? You enjoying the uh, playthrough so far? Eh, he seems happy with it. It's all good. You get the bike as well a bit later on, because no running in this game. Not an emulator, so no speed up button. Oh man, I miss the speed up button so much. Officer Jenny's a bit, bit of a bad detective. She can't just look behind the house. Hey, stay out. It's not your yard, huh, me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? Not in the slightest, my friend. I think we get dig from being this guy, right? Oh god. The crit machine would chop. Crit inbound. Oh my god, no critical hit! Oh my goodness, no critical hit. So, all those critical hits from the credit chaps were just pure luck then, I guess. That's... that's weird. Critical hit. They're coming back! <laughs> Critical hit again. Oh my god, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon! I'll just finish this off with a nice confusion. At least my critical hits are starting to come back. Drowsy, uh I'm really gonna think to be a drowsy to be honest, so That fun shock did a lot less than I was expecting to be honest. Can't even choose your move when you're asleep in this game. Okay, uh, Igneal, it's up to you, buddy. Do a bit of damage. Got the burn, though, nice. It's gonna help, because this drowsy is pretty, pretty tough. Oh, 1 HP. I'm gonna die anyway, even if I heal up. Oh, you can hypnosis, it's all good. Just let the burn do its damage. If you want to keep going for like random moves and let the burn kill you, I'll be totally fine with that, my friend. There you go. That failed, awesome. Let's go for a tackle to finish you off. Damn, that drowsy was pretty tough. Stop, I give up. I'll leave quietly. Damn right, you'll leave quietly. Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. There you go, TM28. Don't really have to heal up, to be honest. We can just uh, use Dave, get the Abra, then we can teleport back. Alright, so... Down here. Oh wait, no. Down here. Looking for an Abra. Okay, my second Abra. Can we actually capture this? Last one just uh, trolled me pretty hard. There's a sleep powder. Don't wake up first go. You stay asleep. 
Last one woke up first turn, then I couldn't capture it, then it ran away. Well, teleported. Come on. No! Stay asleep, stay asleep. Come on, Abra, be a bro. I need you. The whole world right now watching need you to get caught so we can get Mew. Hey! We got Abra. Alright. There we go. Let's get out of here. That was a lot quicker than I expected. So I'm pretty sure I haven't messed anything up right now, so... I can save the game when we get to the part I need to get to. I hope I haven't messed anything up. If I have, then... Oh, no Mew for me. But I'm pretty sure I haven't done anything wrong so far. Okay, let's quickly heal up. Buy some balls and stuff. So, got to save in front of that guy. Walk forward, start, teleport, go back, go to Cerulean, well, land back at Cerulean, go to the gym, take the guy on the right. Let's get six balls. Let's get a few more just in case. There we go. Beat the uh, guy in the gym, walk. Cross bridge, Mew. That should be it. I hope. Oh no, I'm gonna mess up a couple of times. I need a little Pikachu as well so we can take that guy in the gym out really quick and easy. So, go back up here, all right, let's save it right here, all right, let's see if I can do this, can't mess up, okay, so far so good. Now we go in here, take on this dude, beat him, go back across Nugget Bridge, and we should have Mew. Doo, 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 doo. Come on, let's go. And we missed the Thunder Shock. That's a great start. Come on, Pikachu. Critical hit. Oh my god, this game should be called Pokemon Critical Hit or Pokemon Yellow Special Critical Hit Edition. Just so many. Damn, bubble lower my speed. Wish I paralyzed it then, I'll just finish it off. Why you have to live? Shelda, okay. Shelda's probably gonna outspeed us right here. Oh no, nice. Oh, I was hoping we'd lift that. That'd be good. Okay, let's go into flow. Problem is, if I don't capture Mew, I'm gonna get absolutely wrecked. I'm now not sure if I can heal up or anything. I don't want to just mess it up by trying to heal up. So I'm going to go straight to Mew. There's only Pikachu gone, that's fine. Alright, let's lead off with uh, Dave so we can do a bit of damage. You can maybe Ember it with Charmander. Give it a nice scratch, maybe. Okay, let's see if this works. Come on. Please say I've done it right. First go would be really good. Hey, done it. Okay, ready? Yep, 
It's Mew! Ha ha! Alright, let's go for a nice uh, sleep powder. Go for a nice Pokeball. And we got Mew! And that's how it's done! When viewed through a microscope, this Pokemon's short, fine, delicate hair can be seen. Ah! We have Mew! Hey! That was... a lot easier than I thought. That was no trouble at all. Alright, let's go put this Abra in the box. Don't think I'll ever use Mew, to be honest. Definitely gonna bring him over to Pokemon Sun and Moon. Uh, deposit. Oh, the box system is so bad in this game. I don't think it got good until, um... Gen 3? And I can't remember if Gold, Silver and Crystal had the, the... The display where you can see all the Pokemon to just names. Cannot remember. Don't think it did, I think Gen 3 introduced that, maybe. But either way, let's go take on Misty. And then we can end the episode off. So beat that kid. Time for you two. I'm more than good enough for you. Misty can wait. Or oh, can it now? Junior Trainer wants to fight. Oh, Goldeen's. I think Goldeen and Sea King are on probably my top 10 Pokemon I hate the most list. Do not like them at all. Oh my goodness, that did quite a bit of damage. If I can just like confuse it right now, or get a crit, that'd be great. Came confused? Thank you, Dave. Appreciate that. Man, my Pokemon are the best. Like, I say, can I have a crit or... There you go, get a crit. Can I have a crit or a, um, you know, a bit of hacks? They give it to me. That's great. Supersonic, uh, no, we're good. Don't need Supersonic when we got a uh, confusion. So, hi, you're a new face. What's your policy in Pokemon? What's your approach? My policy is an, is an all out offensive with water type Pokemon. Misty, the world famous beauty, is your host. Are you ready, sweetie? Think I am. Maybe. Probably not. Just a star, you're gonna star me. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard. That star me is gonna be pretty difficult, like level 22, right? 23? Or quite high up there. Come on, come on. Ouch. Come on, confusion. Alright, let's spam some more confusion. Oh god, live this tackle. Good. That's one down. Don't even need Pikachu. Who needs Pikachu when you've got a nice, uh, nice Dave? Let's give her a poison powder. Oh god. By poison, nice. <laughs> Does like no damage. Oh, we're just kind of screwed here. All right, let's go into uh, Sparky. It's time to finish this uh, Starmie off. Harden, okay. Starmie sprite makes it look massive and kind of weird. Imagine like if it's your first time playing Pokemon, like you've never seen the anime or anything, you've seen these Pokemon, you think, oh look, a Starmie is, uh, it's green, and then you know, you play it, like a newer game, you're like, wait, Starmie's purple? That must be super confusing. I doubt that ever, has ever happened to anyone, because, you know, they probably would have known, oh, colour limitations and stuff, but still. Just beat a Starmie. Level 16, sweet. 
Can't believe I lost. All right. You can have the Cascade Badge too, to show you beat me. Hey. All Pokemon's level 30 obey me, sweet, and we can use cut outside of battle at any time. Thank you much. Thank you very much for our team 11. Now, with that, I'm going to end this part right here. Next episode, we are going to head and do uh, the SSN of Vermilion City, and we're also going to pick up uh, Bulbasaur and Squirtle, I think we can do next episode. Maybe at least one of them. I think we get Bulbasaur in the fan club, and I think we get Squirtle from Officer Jenny. I'm pretty sure. I'll double check. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Peace.